All right guys, welcome back to another video. As you can see, we have a doubled in head unit for today. Um, this is something that I've always wanted, especially a touchscreen one with the Apple CarPlay. And yeah, this is finally gonna be like the first interior mod, I guess you could say. I chose this model because it's a pretty simplistic look. You just have the small buttons on the side. Um, it's just a big screen. Sony's interface or design, whatever it's called, it looks really clean and it's not, you know, like too old school. It's super modern and that's what I really liked about it. So yeah, this is gonna be my first time installing a stereo, doing wiring stuff. Should be pretty straightforward. I looked on the forums and apparently the GTSs came with a factory amp and usually what most people do is they just bypass the amp since I think the aftermarket stereos usually have like a built-in amp in it anyways and I think it's like better than the stock amp. So this car did come with a JBL sound system but I don't know if it's the speakers or the amp or the stereo or something but that side it like gives off like a static noise. I'll show you guys. Rig it up, rig it up, rig it up, rig it up. So I don't know how clearly the camera was able to pick up the audio but basically what it sounds like is when you have like a crappy audio system and you like turn up the bass all the way and like and like the sound just gets all distorted that's kind of what it sounds like on the passenger side speaker so i don't know if the new stereo will fix that maybe it's just a speaker problem so i got the stereo mainly for the map features the apple carplay bluetooth and whatnot um it does do hands-free calling i don't care too much about it but yeah i just want a touchscreen stereo because it's sick also on the stock stereo um yeah it's super old but like the volume knob See how the numbers just keep fluctuating? Like I'll try to raise it up and it just keeps going down. I, I don't know, something's wrong with the volume knob. It's super sensitive. Sometimes I'll be driving and like the volume will just kind of like go up or down by itself. Um, so yeah, it's just time to get rid of this old stereo. It says JBL sound system, but honestly, it's still pretty crappy. It is 2003, so. All right, so for the materials, um, I bought this Metra wiring harness. Here's the part number for it. But basically, this is the harness that's gonna bypass the JBL amp that's in there. And then I have the dash kit, um, obviously for the, for the side, so it fits in the center console. And then I also bought some heat shrink tubing, some wire strippers, and uh, yeah, it should be pretty easy. Also, don't quote me on this, but according to the forums and stuff, the GTSs, since they came with like a premium sound system, including the JBL ones, they use like a different wiring harness. So the GTs, you would use like the generic Toyota harness, whereas the GTS, you'd have to use um, some different harness. So that's why I went with this one. It bypasses the amp and yeah, I'm pretty sure Sony's integrated amp is 10 times better than the stock one anyways. Also, I got this for $300 at a local audio store. The normal price at like Best Buy or something or Amazon is like $375, but I got it for $300, so that's a pretty good deal to me. A manual, a remote, and here is the stereo itself. Looks really good. Simple design, pretty big screen, and it comes with the microphone for hands-free calling. And then this is the stereo harness. And that's basically it. So I think what I'm gonna do first is start wiring up this stuff. Okay, so the Metra harness comes with this fat one and this other small one that only has like four cables to it. Um, the stereo harness is gonna connect to this one, like this. And then the other colors is gonna connect to this one as well. And then this one is gonna plug into the stock amp this one is gonna plug into the stock harness that's uh, behind the stereo. I'll show you guys after I get everything wired up, but basically just color match them. Red, yellow, black, and blue. Match them with this harness right here. And then the remaining colors, I guess just, you know, whatever colors that you can find on this harness, match them together. If there are leftover colors, um, I think I'm just gonna block them off. The green wire is a parking brake wire. Basically what it does is 
you're supposed to connect this to like a ground on your parking brake or something basically what this wire does is you have to have like the parking brake up in order to like let's say connect to bluetooth on another device or use certain functions i think that's kind of pointless i want to be able to just use it without restrictions so i saw someone wire this with a one of like these ring connections and they just wired it to like the side over here where a screw is and it worked perfectly fine and it basically just bypassed the parking brake thing also this is my first time doing any wiring um but it looks pretty straightforward so i'm just gonna give it a shot honestly i don't know what any of these wires do all i know is i'm just gonna color match them and they're supposed to work oh and also the purple one reverse in this is for if you have like a backup camera or something but i don't have one so that's just gonna be left as is both of these, the fat one and this one, are both gonna connect to the stereo harness. Hmm, I'm not sure how I feel about the heat shrink tubing. I may just try to crimp these instead. But then again, I've never crimped before, so I don't know. All right, excuse the mess, um, but I ended up crimping these together. I don't even know if I crimped these right, but these ones are still shrink tubed. I don't know, I just didn't really trust the shrink tubes for some reason. But these ones, I tugged on them and they're not separating, so that means that they're together pretty good. Um, these ones, I just shrink tube the ends to close them off. Yeah, I, I don't know. Hopefully, hopefully my car doesn't blow up, but this is my first wiring job. And it took a little bit, but I mean, just color match them. For today, I finished all the wiring. I think that was probably like the hardest part. I guess it was like more tedious or something, I don't know. All right, so it's the next day and basically we're gonna have to remove the center console area, go down to the glove box because that's where the factory amp is. And then we're gonna get this stereo installed, the harness wired up and should be good. All right, so first I'm gonna remove everything over here. So that way we could take out the stock stereo. Just two screws that are holding this face and then two screws on the bottom and then you should just be able to pry this upwards and it should come out and then disconnect the clock harness that's behind there it's right there so the stereo is held by four of these bolts and I believe they are tens after taking out the four bolts whole thing should just be able to slide out All right, so I just unplugged everything and I'm not sure what those two plugs are. So nothing was connected to that. It was just this big one and then these two, um, I guess like radio and antenna. Um, but I believe we're gonna have to reuse these brackets. So I have to unscrew those four screws. All right, so we're gonna have to use, reuse these brackets and then the dash kit so there's no gaps. There's the part number, so I'm pretty sure Metro is literally like the only brand that sells the dash kit or the silicas. So this is the left side bracket and it's going to sit like this. So just make sure these holes, this one, this one, and this one line up. And then you get the dash kit and it should line up with those holes as well. Also, before I screw any of these together, I want to get this connected. This is the parking brake. Um, I'm going to hook this ring thingy onto a screw um, and it should bypass the parking brake thing. So I got stuck just now. These stock eight millimeter screws do not fit in the new head unit. Um, and then these screws that Sony provided, you can see they are way too short. I mean, look at those. What the hell am I gonna screw in these with? So when you stack the bracket and the dash kit on top, you can see they're too thick, so they won't even go through all the way. So I'm gonna go to Home Depot and look for some screws that are longer. That way I can have all these mounted up. I went ahead and bought number 10 by 5 8 inch screws to replace these shitty Sony ones that are way too short. As you can see, it's pretty tight, it fits now. I also have this e-brake, parking brake, whatever thing you wanna call it. I have it grounded to that screw. That way I can use all the functionalities without pulling on the e-brake. I just think it's easier. So yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and do it on both sides, screw everything together, 
and we are finally gonna put it in there. All right, so the next thing we have to do is go under the glove box because that's where the factory amp is and we're gonna have to disconnect a harness and uh, in order to do that, we're gonna have to drop the whole glove box um, because it's pretty tight under there. So I just got the whole thing dropped off. I don't wanna unplug that because I believe that is the airbag harness, um, but you have three screws that go along the top and then you have the two bolts on the bottom and then the plastic twist pins and just pull the plastic off. So under the glove box, as you can see, that is the JBL amp. That is the stock amp and there are two plugs I'm gonna unplug the one on the right, and then I'm gonna plug that harness into this one, which is the bypass harness. And then I'm gonna get everything plugged into the stereo, into the back over there, and see if it works. All right, moment of truth. <gasps> it's on. Holy crap. Okay, blah, 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 don't care. Oh shit, it works. Yo. Okay, I'm gonna try the radio, make sure. Make sure there's volume. Okay, that is not a channel. Oh, let's go. Don't wanna get copyrighted. All right, so clearly the volume works. I'm stoked. I'm super stoked. All right, so just to go over things real quickly so it doesn't seem too confusing. Unplug the harness on the right of the amp. Plug that one into the fat harness, the bypass harness that I bought. And then the stereo harness, which is already wired with this fat harness. This black one is going to go in the back of the new stereo. And then the other end is this white plug that we wired together, the four colors. That one is gonna plug into the back of this harness, which is behind the center console, it's already there. And then you're gonna have these two. The small one didn't fit anywhere, but this one, the big one, is going to go right there in the big hole. Once you have all that plugged in, um, I guess just tuck everything in and it should work. Oh, and also the mic. Um, it plugs into the red one, it says mic. Plug that one in and I think I'm gonna route it somewhere under the dash, maybe up to the A pillar or under the dash and just like on top of the ignition. I'm not too sure yet. And then there's gonna be two USB cables. This one is USB one, which is the one that you could connect your phone to for Apple CarPlay, Android, Android audio, whatever. And then this one's the other one where it's just for music. So if you have a USB stick, you stick it in there, but uh, I'm probably not even gonna use this one, so this one's just gonna stay back there hidden. I hope this wasn't too confusing. So I didn't put everything back together yet, but I just wanted to peel this off. Ooh. Ooh. Dang, that is nice. All right, now I'm gonna put everything back together. Man, it's super hot today, and I was sweating so much in here, but I got everything back together. Now the first thing I noticed is um, it sticks out a little bit outwards. So it's not like exactly flush with the center console and this little dash kit. But I don't mind it at all actually. Um, it blends in pretty well so you can barely tell that it sticks out a bit. But dang, this thing is super clean, super simplistic and I, mean, I just really like the modern look. Just simple buttons down below. I haven't tinkered with this yet. I'm gonna play around it real quick. So for Apple CarPlay and Android Audio, so there are other head units that have wireless Apple CarPlay, um, but those are like way more expensive. This one, in order to activate Apple CarPlay, you have to have your USB connected to it. I have it going through under the dash, and I think I'm just gonna have it tucked in there maybe. And the mic, I still haven't routed it. Not sure where I want exactly yet. So right off the bat, um, the interface is actually really nice. It's not laggy at all. Um, I could probably say I'd compare it to, to like a cheaper iPhone screen, but I mean, it's really nice. Bluetooth audio, haven't connected anything yet. I'm gonna connect the USB right now to my phone. 
so right away oh okay yo this is so sick spotify playlist so one thing i noticed is my spotify playlist on the stereo seems seems like it's not updated um but all the songs i have on here for example i have money in the grave it's playing right there but it doesn't show up on my alphabetical order list don't know why yeah yeah okay you can't skip through it i mean where the fuck should i really even start i got holes that i'm keeping in the dark i got my niggas cross the street living large thinking back to the fact that they all right before i get copyrighted um but it seems like it kind of actually fixed that static noise whatever that i was talking about earlier on the speakers um that integrated amp or whatever aftermarket stereos I, I feel like it seems to always make the sound system sound way better so right now it definitely sounds way better don't know how well the camera picked up um but yeah everything is running through your iphone so that's why the speed is pretty fast and really really nice got phone music all that other stuff but yeah this is super sick anyways that'll be it for today i still don't really know how to work the thing yet so i'm still playing around with this so that's why i'm not really going to show like a in-depth review but just know if i was able to do it then you can definitely do it um i had no experience with wiring or anything before i hope this wasn't too confusing i know there's a bunch of wires but you really just have to color match them everything that i bought i'll put it in the description and so far i'm giving this a 10 out of 10. it's super nice super simplistic modern looking and it's just like a big update from from the old crappy 2003 stock stereo. But yeah, that'll be it for today and thank you guys for watching. I'll see you later.